had a, had a pickup order for Eric. Thank you, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you, too. It's a thick ass smoothie, man. Hell yeah. Oh, a little tiny bit of a sunset sesh right now, man. It did look cooler like 10 minutes ago, I can't lie. But uh, hey, this is the best we're gonna get, man. We got a little bit of a car sesh today. Very excited. It's a classic. We got the smoothie, we got the Bev, and we got ourselves a very, very special roll right here. So without further ado, let's put you down real quick. Oh, the light's turning off at the perfect time. That's not too shabby right there. Put that up. Oh, man. Oh, man. We should even probably just keep the light on, right? Mm. We can have it stop moving. Shift her over a little bit. I mean, that's not that's not the worst thing ever. Oh, you own fantasy drafting right now as we speak, man. My team so far, I auto-picked my first one. What the hell, bro? I wasn't in the draft room for like 30 seconds, and it auto-picked my first pick, bro unbelievable but i will say i did auto draft last year not the whole draft it was like three or four because i was busy but i won the league for the first time in like seven years i won my fantasy league last season so i'm fucking i'm coming off a high right now man my team so far all right listen to this the auto draft bro i'm pick number seven how is pick number seven amon Ra saint brown the Detroit Lions are not that good, bro. My team is Amon Ross St. Brown, Puka Nakua, Isaiah Pacheco, Debo Samuel. That's a little sleeper fourth round pick right there. Aaron Jones, fuck it. Ah, oh, I don't know. With Minnesota, that was such a bad pick, man. God, all right. Listen, got ourselves a little hash hole, which we've smoked a ton of these on the channel before. But this one's a little special because one, I want to say this was one of the first companies that i saw doing hash holes and doing solving this stuff in general so big shout out to my people over at rosin tech company and also we got a little bit of a collaboration with this one man you guys have seen these people on the channel before they got some of the most fire flower out there zoom in right there we got that no till kings of course the light goes out as soon as i need it we got that laser fuel flower and then a little bit of what kind of rosin a little bit of rainbow chem rosin so you guys know i like the three to one ratio usually like 1.5 of flower 0.5 to rosin that's generally i think the best so this is this is a little interesting this is like a one to four ratio but also this is a very important video because this as far as i've seen is one of the cheaper hash holes that you can actually get in the whole entire recreational market here in california so i know they generally run from anywhere between like 45 to 60 dollars before tax so obviously you're looking at like 70 80 out the door rosin tech and punch extracts are the only doinks that i have seen under 40 dollars and punch has like a couple tiers so you know what i mean you can get even cheaper those go for like 30 ish or something like that but i saw these bad boys on the market on the shelf a little screenshot for you for 37 dollars which is like expensive for a joint right because after you pay taxes you know 30 percent something taxes out the door you're looking at at least 50 something bones for one doink not gonna lie you know what i'm saying i'm doing pretty okay but that's a lot of fucking money for one occasion you know what i mean usually i save these things for special times when the homies are in town or when i got a special dinner or something like that but Today's just the 1st of September. It's just a good ass day. Oh, by the way, before we light this thing, which it's totally not lit right now, and this is totally not a cut in the video, big shout out to the sponsor of today's video that allows us to buy doinks like this. They've been on the channel many times before. Shout out to Five Gummies for sending over some of their 50 state legal good to go gummies and they get you they get you to where you need to be man they got 10 milligrams each i don't know what it is about that method of consumption i heard it's like the way it interacts with your liver or like interacts with your body like you know like the way you absorb the cannabinoids is different uh, when you eat it so those those slap bro and they're doing them for free these tubs are like 40 bucks man you can get it for absolutely free all you gotta do is pay shipping make sure to check out five let's pop this open right now and see if it's worth the money or should you spend that extra 10 15 however much to get another brands but i don't know um, no, no spoiler alert or anything but i've smoked a couple of these and they kind of smoke man so you get a little dube tube which is very cool with the logo on it and then good looking sticker good looking glass tip that's a good looking roll right there baby look at this little package as well I don't know if you can see that. It says, enjoy your solventless experience. Oh, I shall, Rosin Tech. Oh, I shall. With the No-Till King's flower inside? Are you kidding me? With the smoothie? Bro, I'm chilling. The only thing I'm truly missing 
is a porch lighter. It's okay, we got a regular lighter. If you guys don't know, ooh, a little Pine Park lighter as well. If you guys don't know the rules to light a little hash hole, basically you wanna hold it at an angle. You got a little 90 degree angle right here. You wanna hold it at like 45 or something like that. And you wanna go in a little circle and you just wanna make sure that cherry is going, bro. You wanna get that flame on there for maybe even like 30 seconds, something like that. The number one way that people have their donuts run or have a little canoe going, and that's just any donut, not even donuts. But it's especially sad when it's like 50 fucking dollars, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if you don't light it right and you just inhale all that motherfucking butane, this actually looks pretty cool, I'm down. Um, and you just inhale all that butane and that flame goes straight through. One, it's gonna ruin the doink a little bit, but two, that shit is gonna run, man. So get the flame on there, get the whole thing lit, do a little turn. Try to get some oxygen on there. I think I'm up to draft. <laughs> and then you got the fucking J going. Isn't that amazing? Of course, why did I go on auto pick, bro? Why does it do that? Also, another very important part is letting it breathe a little bit instead of just and you pass it to someone there. You know what I mean? Just let the cherry cool down a little bit. It's also going to make the smoke much more enjoyable, much cooler if the cherry is just not hot as fuck and all your shit's just embering the entire time. Just just cool. Just cool it a little bit, brother. Oh my God, it's fucking smoky in here already. How does that happen? Oh, dude, I don't know if you can see the little resin ring going on right there, but we are moving. Oh, I hate the fucking Cowboys. Am I going Dak Prescott? Am I going Dak Prescott over Joe Burrow right now? You're about to witness a fantasy motherfucking god at work. Oh my goodness, this, hang on, I wasn't even focusing on the flavor, I was kind of just smoking it, kind of making sure it was like good to go and everything, but now, now I'm really appreciating what's going on right now, hang on. Oh dude, I can already tell you guys, I have definitely 100% smoked doinks that are more expensive than this that do not smoke this good, like this flavor is already going crazy. The hit is super smooth. We got a little resin ring going right there. Do you see this fucking smoke? Hang on. <sighs> I also think we just got to the worm, which I really like because sometimes people roll these so that the worm is like down here. And by the time you get to it, you know, there is a significant change in flavor, but I feel like it's much better when it's towards the front. You know, it changes the complexity of the joint better in, in a longer way and everything. I fuck with it. It's so crazy how there's such a significant taste difference once the rosin happens. Like, I fucking love donuts, man. I love donuts. There's something about donuts that just makes me happy as fuck. <coughs> I'm just like a smoking nerd almost. Like, I'm a technology nerd too. I fucking love watching. Like, I can't believe E3 is not a thing anymore. But like, CES and all those like consumer, you know, I guess that it, the consumer electronic show, that is what CES is. But like all those little like, you know, tech shows and even the car shows and stuff. I just love technology, and I feel like this shit is almost a step, like a new technology. It's like a new fucking graphics card coming out or something, you know? I mean, even bigger than that, because new graphics cards come out, like, every year or two. But to have a new trend come forward, you know what I mean? Like, that everyone's trying to replicate and everyone's trying to do their own donuts, like, that's a big fucking deal. It's like a, it's like a monumental step in, um, in smoking culture, man. I mean, donuts are even transcending, you know, the United States. I see donuts being smoked all over the motherfucking world, bro. You know, people smoking these in Thailand. Some people smoking these in Germany. Shout out Germany, just legalized. I smoked a donut in the UK, no doubt, when I was there. I'm loving it. It's one of those things that just puts a smile on your face. Wow. Oh, I want to get at least one rookie. Here's my rookie pick. Rome Odunze. Stand the fuck up, Chicago Bears. Caleb Williams might have a fucking squad, man. I am delusional as shit. I'm a Saints fan. 
think Derek Carr. I, I I just don't think that. I think that division is so ass. I think if the Saints were in any other division, I'd be very sad. But like the NFC South is so fucking cheeks, bro. Like the Panthers are ass. The Bucks are ass. Post Brady, the Falcons are the maybe best team in that division. But that's such an easily beatable team. Like get the fuck out of here, bro. The Saints can make the playoffs for sure. We're kind of stuck in this like nine win hellhole for like four or five years, where we're just not good enough to win a Super Bowl but not garbage enough to tank. And it's like, fuck, it's better than being ass, you know? Like there was a few seasons where we weren't even winning, but like, eh, it's all right, bro. It's fandom, sports, you know what I mean? You know the worst type of people? I'm just gonna say it right now. I don't usually rant about certain people a lot. The worst people are like the people that fucking hate sports, that are like, you're just gonna watch the person throw a ball around. You know, they, they think they sound all smart. And it's like, oh, like, I entertain my time with things more important than sports. Or like, you know, like, they're, I fucking hate those people, man, that just think they're like too smart for sports. How the fuck does that even make sense? Sports is like one of the oldest fucking standing things in like history, bro. People were in like ancient Greece watching motherfuckers throw rocks and shit, you know? Like, this lit. Competition's lit. That's, like, human nature, bro. You don't enjoy sports? Fuck you. That's fucked up. I understand not being, like, obsessed with it, you know? Like, fantasy drafting and fucking catching all the games. I understand. People are busy. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But, like, those, those, those people that just... And maybe that's just any hobby, though. Not just with sports. Like, if you think you're too good for anything, like... What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You know, you know, no one's too good for nothing. Just let people fucking enjoy things. How about that? Except for like furries and shit. I don't know. About I'm a furry hater. And actually, not even. You know, I, I probably got, I probably got friends that are like underground furry lovers and shit. And if you tell a furry, because I think I've met a couple, like, oh, so you like like fucking animals and stuff? They're like, no, and they're like, no, it's not fucking animals. Like that's wrong. Like I just love animals. And, I just like animal, like, I don't know what they call it. They call them, like, anamorphic creatures or something. There's, like, a certain word for it. But they swear they don't fuck animals. Like, that's, they swear on anything that they're not sexually attracted to animals. But, like, but, like, I don't know. Shout out furries, though, I guess. Um, that's lit. Big shout out to all the furries. I just tried to roll these windows down because it's fucking hot boxed in here, bro. I ain't hotbox something in a while. It looks like I'm sweating like a bitch. Am I sweating like that? I don't feel like I'm that sweaty. It'll be alright. Um, this thing is fucking smoking, man. We have like half of it left. I haven't even ashed it yet. And we're going all donut right now. But I think it's time. I think it's time to get the first ash going. And let's hope you can see the donut. You're about to see the namesake. You're about to see what it's called. People will tell you not to ash it. <coughs> people will tell you like <coughs> you're supposed to let the ash fall naturally and like ashing it early fucks with the cherry and fucks with the smoke i don't think so oh yeah we got it man oh it's a fucking gaper too holy moly guacamole whoa it sparked right there did you see that one of my favorite things about hash holes is that if you shine your phone light in the right way, or if you get it at the right time at the beginning of the hash hole, you can see the hash melting inside of the doink. It's very awesome. I, uh, it's one of my favorite things, to be honest with you. It looks so cool. It looks so special, the way the light reflects off of it and everything. Maybe I'm just being an addict, but that shit's awesome. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm stoked as fuck. There's no reason why you would need any more than this. And this is a really good ratio, I'm not gonna lie. The one to four ratio is not that bad. Whoa, tweakers right in front of me, man. Thank God my light turned off at the right time. Or maybe it's not tweakers. I think it's just like a nice couple, but they look tweaked the fuck out. They might not be homeless, but they're definitely tweakers, you know? Like, you can be a tweaker without, you know, with still having a home. Damn near, I'm almost a tweaker, you know? Um, damn, man. Yeah, the 1 to 4 ratio ain't that bad at all. I'm kind of a fan of it. In general, though, 1 to 3 is my favorite. Um, I just was given the other day a 0.8 rosin to 2.3 
of motherfucking flour. So like a, pretty much a three gram joint, 3.1 around there. And I'm very interested to see that because that's pretty much a three to one ratio, but it's just fat is a motherfucker. Like this thing is huge. I know 710 also makes a, I want to say two and a half gram flour, one gram rosin. So all oh, the two and a half to one, which is crazy. We're definitely going to get one of those in. Um, but shit, man. Yeah, I'm fucking... I'm absolutely geeked right now. The car is hot box. I'm so stoned that I actually have not even drinking my smoothie yet, bro. Fuck. It's probably like that weird smoothie consistency now where it's like a little bit liquidy. I hate that. There's definitely some protein in there. Yeah, you know, I've been in the gym and shit. No big deal. Hey, listen, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for smoking along with me and uh, hotboxing my whip with me. If you smoked along, make sure to let me know if you smoked along below, especially if it was a donut. Have you ever smoked a donut? Do you want to smoke one in the future? Roll one right now. Fuck it. You want a donut rolling tutorial? We could do a little video on that. I can't believe I haven't made a video on that yet. But listen. Love you guys so much. Overall, if I had to say, this was 110 million percent worth the money like 37 dollars for this and i mean yeah you have to pay some taxes but there's 100 percent shops out there that are giving like 30 percent off 40 percent off so that takes off the taxes and then some you know what i mean you might be saving some money on that shit look at that light that looks crazy are they shining their shit in? never mind they're just getting closer i'm fucking geeked i'm so high i'm paranoid right now man love you guys so much thanks for chilling i will see you in the next video make sure you um I don't know. What do I want to make sure you do? Make sure you're nice to people. Make sure you're getting high as fuck and getting a little bit of money. You know what I mean? The third one's kind of optional. I don't want to sound like you know, money's all the most important thing, but like just grind a little bit. You know what I mean? I feel like grinding's healthy. What the fuck? Why is the street so active, bro? People just fucking pulling up slow as shit next to me. The joint's out, man. Fuck. It's the saddest thing. Listen, that's going to be it for me. Love you guys so much. Thanks for smoking along. I will see you in the next video. And make sure y'all stay safe. Make sure to get some five gummies. And make sure to smoke a donut. I love you so much. Peace. Peace with the middle two? Is that a thing? It is now. <laughs>